plant crazies come in here, yeah. they just get confused. <laughs> One time, they don't know what to choose. They, you know, oh wow, they didn't know they had so many colors. And then they... What's up my Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another episode of Trinbago Vibes. Today we in lovely San Rafael and we are here by the garden by Wendy. A plant shop inside El Carmen Estate where you can purchase like these orchids as well as other tropical indoor and outdoor plants. So join us as we explore the garden. Well, you want to know how we get here, right? Let's do that first before we come back to here. If this is your first time here, I'm Richie by the way, and this here is the San Rafael RC Church, built in 1895 at the junction where you know the South Tampuna Road meets the Komoto Terminal Road. And we're heading right onto the Talparo Road next. But first, a little history about San Rafael, an area established in 1892. Cause you know now, here on the channel we like to sprinkle some history where we can. And this area and church was named after the patron saint of healing from the Catholic side of things, you know, Catholic religion, Saint Raphael, whose statue you can also find at this junction. Alright, let's head on to the El Carmen estate and to the garden by Wendy Leon. I will lie, this feeling like I'm driving through Grand Cooper, but with better roads. Like, yeah, so I just pass the entrance to the <laughs> The estate, a common estate, is where we go into. Yeah, so a little gravel road here to go until we arrive at the garden. By the way, we're in May. So, for all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day to you all. Words can't even express how grateful we are to you and how grateful we, are, we should be to you all for you know, all the challenges you may face along the way in raising the kids we are today. So, Trinbago vibes, thank you all. This is the garden by Wendy. Now let's go, you know, take in a little more here at the garden. This is our host, Miss Wendy herself. Hi, Miss Wendy. Hi, everybody. And thank you for having us. Well, welcome to the garden and <laughs> all the lovely plants. Yeah, you want to walk us through it? Yes, this is our production house. So we have our mother plants and a lot of my collection plants in here. Okay. What is What would you consider your collection plants? Um, things like this that is one of a kind that I wouldn't sell for love or money. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. And, and then out here now is our sales area. So there's thousands to choose from. Oh, okay. So, so this is your private collection here. Yes, this is the collection here. And this is for? And this is for sale. For sale. So here. any guests so, yes. would come through. That's right. Oh, this is very, very lovely. Yes. And how long now you all started this, this yes. whole business? Well, I sort of retired in 2016, but we had built these first two greenhouses in 2014 yeah. for me to, to putter and, you know, have my collection going. And then following retirement, I was in the plants all the time and my husband said, you have too many plants, you're <laughs> going to have to sell some of them. So, you know, we allowed um, customers to come through and pick up. And it was always like, oh, that's hurting my heart to part with that plant. But, you know, you generate enough baby plants from one variety. You say, OK, well, yeah, you could sell off some of them. So, but it's a labor of love because this is Sunday to Sunday. You're in the plants and, you know, <laughs> pulling weeds, pulling dry leaves, 
fertilizing, spraying, whatever they need. And then of course the dry house in the back there that's plastic covered is cacti and succulents, um, which I understand from my daughter Megan is what the millennials are crazy about <laughs> because it's low maintenance. Yeah. Um, if you forget to water it for a week, it's going to forgive you. It's not going to drop dead overnight, you know, and, and it's just the right size for them to make their little fairy dish garden, put it on the side table, remember to wet it once for the month and they're good to go. So those are super popular right now, <laughs> really, really popular. And we just literally have thousands of varieties. And we're in the process now of trying to propagate as many as possible and bring the price down to $10. So we have two $10 tables where anything on the table is $10 and customers can come. And if they've never grown a plant before, they can start with something for $10 and try it out. So we go into the $10 table now. Yeah, so you can see what is available. This variety. Oh, look at this. Take your time. Yeah, this is the millennial stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Look, look. And they have the price ranges on each one too. So yes. you'll be able to see what we come in to look at the $10, ten table. Yes. All of these here, all of those over there. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we just had a little flash sale for the last three days. So started off with the table completely filled and now look at all these spaces I had to empty trays and take them off and pack them up the place so <laughs> we have to replenish the next week but yeah and then I was just walking through the gym and I saw all of these flowering so you know Megan goes crazy for these so I just had to take the pictures because these are so fleeting um, like you know one or two of them starting to close up already wow these i didn't realize yeah. cacti is half yeah, flowers you know open close open close so yeah these are just gorgeous these are just my favorite <laughs> My favorite food. So it's so so say we're starting off at the base price of ten Trinidadian dollars and it's Trinidadian dollars. Yes, yes. What was the most expensive it ever reached here? For the succulents, um probably three hundred. Okay. For a really old grandmother. But um we also do very elaborate dish gardens. Oh okay. And those can be up to a thousand dollars. Oh, that's nice when you put together. Yes, when it's a nice big dish and it has different lots, things. Oh, okay. Lots of plants in it, and you know the rule, Rajiv. You have to include the filler, yeah. the thriller, and the spiller. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me where they get these things from, but they come here and they're just repeating this little mantra. And I'm there. What? What's that you're looking for? Um, okay, well the filler, what, what are you going to use for the filler? And then they want the thriller, so it has to be something that pops out and, you know, excites everybody who looks at it. And then the spiller is the one that will hang over the edge oh, of the pot okay. and okay, know, okay, okay. round it off. <laughs> so, yeah, so we have, we have some of each of those. <laughs> so, it's up to the individual to just put together whatever suits their likes and dislikes. And then somebody told me having these hanging down here reminds them of a Harry Potter movie. I I don't know. Uh, hopefully nobody was, comments was about it. Was that spooky or was that a compliment? Or yeah, yeah, it was magical. magical. Okay. I was magical, exactly. Yeah. That does itself. Oh, wow. This is just like Harry Potter. Alright. <laughs> By the way, they do take links here, so you're safe. So when you see seeing all these plants here and it's short on cash, they're taking links. So you could still, you know, swipe. So there are plenty of places like this throughout the country, you know, like La Vega, Undercover, and even Central Escape. But this is the first spot where it has a wide variety of different things and unique things that you may not even see anywhere else is like I'm in shock right now and grateful for the opportunity to come and explore the garden.
this looks like roses. But these cacti, eh? Yeah, succulents. Succulents. Yeah. Wow, this is real nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Amazing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the garden by Wendy Trinvega Vibes. And this almost looks like it's like a pineapple that you could actually pull it up and eat, but it looks like it's a cacti because we learn that once it could poke you, it's a cacti. Similar to that, to, to this guy right here. See, once it could poke you, it's a cacti. Oh yes, big shout out to Robot for introducing me to this place. Robot, big up. You all will know Robot from my double hopping videos and everything. So big up Robot. Look at this, these looks like snakes, don't you think so? Wow, it's real interesting. And this looks like things you'll find underneath the sea. Yeah, under the sea, looks like this. And all these are for sale. Well, except for the not for sale sign at the end table there, but everything else here is for sale. And of course, you just saw the $10 table where you could just buy a few things and make up, you know, those small little bowl gardens thing that people is going to craze out nowadays. All right, now we reach on the alien planet. Like this, this looks like something will burst out of it and, you know, grab onto my face. And this looks like it will strangle you a little bit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Amazing stuff. It's like it's so unique. The different types of plants you see in here that represent different shapes and colors is wow. I know some people would enjoy this immensely. Cacti is that don't really see anywhere. Like, look at the colors in this one. Amazing. This one actually looks like cotton. There are so many lovely plants here, it's, it's hard to choose. No wonder Miss Wendy said that when people reach here, they get confused. Because it's like you want to just grab a little bit of everything or everything or one species of each thing. Because there's this so much unique variety, so much different stuff. I think I missed that. Look how good that looks. What are your opening hours? We're open Tuesday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If it's a public holiday and you phone me and I'm, I happen to be here, I will accommodate you. And now you all see what there is on sale. Now this is the landscape solution, the garden itself. Come take a look. Typically manicure lawn. Now you, you get this entrance. You know, I keep thinking this is a nice place for a sweat, a football sweat. <laughs> the grass is so nice. Once again, I'd like to thank Miss Wendy for having us at her garden. Wow, that was, it, it was amazing to be in there to see all these different plants. Happy Mother's Day, Miss Wendy, to my mom, Chanani, to my Auntie Jamin, to my Auntie Gita, to all my friends and family, to all everybody here who have, have subscribed to the channel. For those who have not, for the moms out there, Happy Mother's Day. Special shout out to Miss Rita from your daughter Caitlin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She told me you all are huge fans of the channel and I appreciate the love and support that you all give. So happy Mother's Day to you all as well. So this is the garden by Wendy Trinbago Vibes. Hope you enjoyed that one. Make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you all think. I'll leave all the information you heard in this video in the description below and the social links as well. As well as I'll pin the exact location of this, you could find it on Google Maps. So I'll see you all in the next one. I'll go on later.